Hey guys, it's Denise and welcome back. Today we are at Somerville Place on my unmodded character and I have the flower shop to show you guys today. Now I built this in a live stream and I'm trying to get it cut down um, to where I can also release that as a building video. And then also the weapon and armor shop I built in a live stream. And I'm gonna try to get that cut down so you can see how I built both of them. So uh, the flower shop's been an idea that I've had for a long time. So I might, I, I enjoyed building this one so much that I might do it on the modded character as well. So I'll just give you a run around on the outside real quick. And uh, here, I put some generators in here, just two of the baby generators. So it's a little bit noisy there in her bedroom, but it's all right. And so I wanted it to be a little bit, um, not a little bit like a greenhouse and a flower shop put together in a way, because I know some flower shops do have like um, small like hot houses or whatever built into them. So I kind of wanted that feel. Now before I forget, um, these little hanging plants here are something that I saw um, my friend Stacy plays Fallout do a while back in one of her greenhouses. Um, if I can find the actual video where I saw it, I will, I will put a link, of course. If not, I'll just put a link to her channel, but she does great stuff. and uh, So yeah, if you're not aware of her, then you might want to go check her out. So uh, here we've got rain coming along. Now, um, I it rains a lot here, so the only thing I did here was I put the cheat terminal on, or enabled it, just for um, the weather. So I don't want you guys thinking I used mods on this or nothing. I did. I didn't. Uh, now I did with the cheat terminal give myself a little bit more building materials, but um, other than that, you know, this is my <laughs> legit character that's a level 251. So, um, all right. So here's the front. I just oh, there's a guy on the roof. Um, put some you know I always have to include the mannequins I can't leave my mannequins out of anything it seems like so we've got a little display there the girls with flowers and here's a chem station with a Christmas tree inside of it for whatever reason and here's just one of the little places that they can farm and they've got a little storage area under there On the outsides of most stores they have pot machines so I just stuck these in here for some extra decoration and there's plants everywhere and all this fun stuff so there's a lot of detail in here I'll try to make my pans as smooth as I can guys um, now that's kind of bright I don't know if you can read it it says Tina's flowers so Tina DeLuca is running uh, the place. So just, um, uh, in case you're wondering how many vases, there's 27 vases on each shelf. So 27 times, what's that, 8? And that is how many I hand stocked. And then all the teddy bears on the bottom, you know, as extra, like, you know, gifts for a flower shop. Some more vases and things like that up here that you can purchase. Um, here's another gardening spot where they've got some storage and more plants underneath there. And over here is the water jugs and so they can, um, people can fill these up and you know use them as their water source or they can just buy them for decoration or whatever. <laughs> but I thought they would fit in well in here. So just kind of line some up there and stuck some more storage underneath and some bales of hay. Just, just stuff that I thought would be, you know, stuff that you would use for gardening and planting things and growing things. And, uh, now the paint, um, because Tina is a general trader and she came from Vault 81 I did want to add a few things in here that kind of symbolized that. So, um, 
being as she worked, I believe, in the reactor room. So I figured, you know, she brought um, a little bit of junk with her, you know, so she's got some other kinds of, of things here other than just a bunch of flowers and vases um, to buy if someone needs it. All this was done by hand, of course. No OC decorator or do-it-yourself or anything like that. This was all done by my own hand. And, um, now I did use the cheat terminal to give myself the swan boat fragments because early on I sold those and I didn't know they were so pretty and striking at the time. So. You know, for an item that I already found and had already, I thought, you know, oh, I mistakenly sold it or whatever. I'll just give it back to myself. So I don't really, <laughs> I guess, technically see that as cheating. But, um, yeah, so here's the back of her counter. And then here's her little sleeping area. And like I said, she was, um, you know, a repair person at the vault. So I figure, you know, she's probably got quite a bit of, um, you know, uh, repair type stuff, you know, wrenches and canisters and, you know, all kinds of stuff that maybe she brought with her here. Uh, I kept the lighting really simple, um, you know, like I always do just to, to help with the frame rate. There's some colored lights over by the plants. There's a, pur a purple and red light on each side. There's stuff down here. Yeah, I just, I pretty much stuffed her room full of stuff because I figured, um, you know, that's, that's, that's how I see her being, you know, traveled from Vault 81 as she was, uh, you know, a pretty important repair person there working in the reactor, I would think, you know. So, um, yeah, this is her little flower shop. So, oh no, and it's raining again. So, I hope y'all like this, and, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.